set to work after the penalty markoff, and he drills it through. He's been perfect all season and almost perfect on field goals. He's at 20 of 23 field goals. Well, push it and shove it. Push it and shove it. Starting up. There was a fight in the stands that was quickly extinguished, and now it spills over onto the field. Kind of unusual to get in a fight on an extra point. These Patriots, they've got to be in very ill humor en route to a 13th loss in a row. Yeah, it's like a season of root canal. They're, they're professionals. There's no end to the pain. There's no end to the discomfort. That's Mickey Washington and Lagerman. The extra point is good. Number 21 and number 56 are disqualified. Number 21, New England. 56, New York. That's an overmatch. Mickey Washington's about 180 pounds. Lagerman is 6'6", 265. So the Jets up 28 to 7. They'll kick off in a moment. No matter where you look, there's Mazda. Really enjoyed it. And most of us enjoyed working with you also, Paul. Well, it was tough carrying all year, but I got to it. <laughs> 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 Fight now. One of them is Harry Gilbert. That's one. Down to 120 remaining in this fourth quarter. Looked to be Jeff Wright, who was involved with Miami's right guard, Harry Galbraith. There it is. Well, they got their face mask on face mask and they're going down and it, you know let's look at this everybody's in there don't get too close look at Cornelius Bennett he doesn't get too close just you know the final uh, stats are going to uh, certainly raise some eyebrows when people uh, check it out around the country in tomorrow's newspapers for example in we're not finished yet, but Marino has thrown 48 passes, 22 for 48, 315 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. But Miami not able to stop the Buffalo Bills. Both men are disqualified for punching. Both men gone. The ejection announced by Bob McElwee. There they are. Jeff Wright. Jeff Wright, Buffalo starting nose tackle, a man who took over for Fred Smurless. Good rookie year in 88. His play fell off last season. He's had a good one this year. And the starting right guard, Harry Galbraith, in his third year out of Tennessee, both depart. Jim Kelly playing well despite the knee injury. Guiding the Bills to the victory. They've got to hold up. That time, West Hopkins, the free safety, takes it back. A 12-yard return to the 14-yard line. Where Philadelphia sets up shop on offense. McMahon. And he's intercepted by Scott Steven. And Steven back to the 34-yard line. Turn for Scott Steven. They still haven't gotten them separated down there. There's some brave men in those striped shirts out there. Scott Stevens had a couple of big plays already. That's his biggest one of the day. There's Jackson in motion, and he's the primary receiver here. McMahon wanted him perhaps to turn over the outside shoulder. He looked back to the inside. And Stevens cut underneath for the interception, but I'm sure that McMahon and Jackson were not on the same page, page here. There's the 
a perfect strike to the defender. And I guess we're going to have that old unsportsmanlike conduct penalty thrown against both players here. And a, perhaps a possible ejection. 88 Philadelphia. 62 and 88. Matt Rock and Keith Jackson. And they have both been ejected. Well, I, I agree with that call, Brad. So many times you see that play where the officials will say unnecessary, uh, unsportsmanlike conduct against both sides, and then they don't penalize anybody. This is a good rule. If there's two men that you can identify as being the instigators or the participants in the melee, toss them out of the game. That way you're penalizing both teams and both players. Amazingly enough, two all. Their lead cut to 21-14. Oops, Fagan was offside. Humphreys throws anyway. Might have been a free down. And Lewis fumbles as he's hit at the 31-yard line by Tyrone Braxton. Well, with his knee, but I would think that's a very smart play right now. Oh, so Shea throws a punch at Broderick Thompson. He kind of caught him on a blindside punch, and uh, that should carry an ejection notice with it. I think so. Shea is saying that this guy chopped me on my knee. And boy, they're still going at it. This is about as rude a rumble as we've seen for a while. Bobby Ross is out there on the field trying to get everybody he can back on, especially his quarterback. Yes. Don't you get in it. Oh, one of the officials did, and it's Jerry Markbright who is, says, reading his lips, he's okay, but he got knocked down in the melee. So Shea limps off. He got a right cross on somebody, Thompson, I believe. Well, they always get the second guy. They never get the initial hit. The flag is never thrown there. And so Shea knows that when you're standing right there and throw a punch in front of the officials that it's probably an ejection. Well, if that isn't, they invite mayhem. Uh, so Shea explaining the block. It's in the interior part of the line, so that it was obviously a legal block. It's offensive lineman on defensive end. There's no such thing as an illegal chop block. Mark Bright gathering two things, information and his own faculties. It's a difficult... <laughs> These men are not overpaid. I mean, they've had to make tough decisions, and with the size of the people with whom they are occupying the field... They take a certain amount of physical risk. Offside, number 71, defense. Decline, take the result of the play, first down. And no, no play. Play. What? <laughs> you got to be joking. Credentials, and he has not played that poorly. He has not developed into a superstar. Second and seven at the 44-yard line. Soon in motion. The fake. Smith chasing Nagel. And Nagel throws on the run, and the catch is made at the 34-yard line for a first down. Uh-oh. Here we go. Getting into it with Nagel. And Irv Eatman comes flying in on top of Bruce Smith. Ooh. And the commissioner, Paul Tagliabue, is in attendance here tonight, boys, and he's got his pencil and pad out right now. Take a note. And about 5,000 a pop. Austin, all of that was a great effort on the part of Brian Nagel to get rid of that football being pursued well, by Bruce Smith. And Smith tackled him, Frank, as he was releasing the football, and when they were on the ground, it appeared that Nagel took exception to, to Bruce Smith being on top of him. And it was Nagel that actually started subbing Smith. He's looking for Nagel, I think, say, look, I, you know, I, di I didn't intend anything. Bruce Here's, Smith is not that kind of player. Here's the end of the play. All right, Bruce Smith just barely gets him by an ankle. And 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 Nagel, oh, he's trying to get up. He's saying, yeah. well, Browning, that's that's not a smart move. I mean, Bruce Smith was appearing to, to start to get up. And Irv Eatman in the hockey vernacular was the third man in. Yeah, well, you always protect your quarterback. Yeah. But you also know that Bruce Smith is not that kind of ball player. And 
He was looking downfield to see if the pass was complete, and it was. There is a penalty, a flag down at the 50-yard line. Well, Danny Kukar has signaled it is a personal foul against the Jets. That has to be on Eatman come flying in, and, and what the Jets really don't need to have happen here is for Irv Eatman to be ejected from the ballgame. He's going to pretty much a race, uh, the catch by Ken Wisenhunt, who's just come off injured reserve. Won't erase the catch itself, it's going to erase most of the game. But this should be a dead ball foul after the play, so exactly. the Jets would get the yardage they gained on the right. pass. And minus the penalty. And then right. lose it back, and Coslett trying to maintain order on his own sideline here. One other aspect of that play, if you ever have any doubts about whether or not Bruce Smith is back, I mean, yeah. he ran down a very athletic Browning negligence. We had a personal fall, number 75 on the green, 15-yard penalty from the succeeding spot. See, Irv Eatman sees the end of the play. He sees Bruce Smith scrapping with his quarterback. It's hard to fault Irv Eatman for what he did. 